Russia's defense ministry has released undated footage of Sergei Shoigu. It's the first footage that's emerged since Wagner called for his sacking as its fighters marched towards Moscow, but later withdrew. The head of the mercenary group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, blamed Shoigu for starving his men of munitions and even launching attacks on them. NATO's secretary general says the Wagner mutiny shows Russia's foreign policy mistakes. The events over the weekend are an internal Russian matter. And yet another demonstration of the big strategic mistake uh, that President Putin made uh, with his legal, uh, annexation, uh, or his legal annexation of Crimea and the war against uh, Ukraine. The European Union's top diplomat believes instability in a country with the most nuclear weapons in the world should concern everyone. It's not a good thing to say that uh, a nuclear power like Russia can go into a, a phase of a political instability. It's also something that has to be taken into account. And China's foreign ministry has also weighed in on the developments. The incident of the Wagner Group you mentioned is Russia's internal affair. As Russia's friendly neighbour and comprehensive strategic partner of coordination for the new era, China supports Russia in maintaining national stability. <laughs> Prigozhin was to be banished to Belarus and was initially understood to have had charges against him dropped in exchange. But some Russian media are reporting the Wagner boss remains under investigation. Mike Lappel, Al Jazeera.